May this message be God's message. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I'm going to talk about the Ten Commandments now. Uh, you've at least, most people have at least heard of the Ten Commandments, even if they don't know them all. Uh, but I'm just going to go through them. And, uh, so you can grasp the concept of them. Uh, they are in Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 17. They're also listed in other places in the Bible, but uh, what I just said is what I'm going to read from. So here we are. Exodus chapter 20, starting with verse 1. God spoke, and these were his words. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt when you were slaves. He's talking to the Israelites, but it also applies to us. Uh, worship no God but me. That doesn't mean... This could be understood to mean don't practice paganism. You know, don't worship Buddha or whatever else. But this commandment says don't put anything ahead of God. Whether it be your car, uh, your house, a relationship, winning a contest, making money. Don't let anything take the place of God in your life. Make God your first priority is that. Commandment 2. Do not make for yourselves images of anything in heaven, or on earth, or in the water, under the earth. Do not bow down to any idol or worship it, because I am the Lord your God, and I tolerate no rivals. I bring punishment on those who hate me, and on their descendants, down to the third and fourth generations. Now that doesn't mean you drop your art classes, it doesn't mean stop uh, portraits. You know, an image is something we can see, something we can understand. We are not to make an image of God because God is a being beyond our comprehension. Uh, that's what it means in actuality. So, you know, verse 6, But I show my love to thousands of generations of those who love me and obey my laws. Okay, that concludes uh, the second commandment. Third commandment. Do not use my name for evil purposes, for I, the Lord, your God, will punish anyone who misuses my name. Okay. That's understood to not use God's name when swearing. Um, yeah, I know I'm a fan of the angry video game nerd and the nostalgia Craig and those who cuss, uh, but you know, but basically what it means is God his name is so sacred that well the translation says don't use his name in vain. Don't use it meaninglessly for as if it's a name that doesn't mean anything, because it means a lot. And therefore, use of it should not uh, be taken lightly. Now, verse uh, 8, which goes to commandment 4, Observe the Sabbath and keep it holy. In those days, the Sabbath was Saturday. For Christians today, it's Sunday. You have six days in which to do your work. But on the seventh day is a day of rest dedicated to me. On that day, no one is to work. Neither your children, your slaves, your animals, nor the foreigners who live in your country. The six days I, the Lord, made the earth, the sky and seas, and everything in them. 
On the seventh day I rested. That is why I, the Lord, blessed the Sabbath and made it holy. Why did he do that? I mean, God's all-powerful. He never gets tired. He didn't need to rest. But it was to set an example for us to follow. What well, I mean, uh, you know, science has said that, you know, rest is good. But the day of rest is to be dedicated to God. It's not just our day. It's uh, a day to reflect on God, on what he's done for us, on our relationship with him. <clears throat> and that's why we go to church on our Sabbath. Now, of course, we don't live in an ideal world, so sometimes working on the Sabbath is a necessary evil. Like, if you're a police officer, there has to be someone patrolling the streets, uh, emergency room doctors, people do have heart attacks, on the Sabbath. And if you insist on not working Sundays, you should bring that up with your employer when you first start a new job. At the same time, you should avoid hypocrisy by not going shopping or eating out on the Sabbath, because to shop, well, uh, somebody has to be working at the store to eat out, uh, Somebody has to be uh, working at the restaurant, so to speak. So, you know, just points to keep in mind. So those are the first four commandments, and they deal with our relationship with God. Commandments 5 through 10 deal with our relationship with each other. So, Commandment 5, respect your father and your mother so that they may live a long time in the land I am given you. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean you obey them all the time. I mean, there's obviously things when you shouldn't listen to them, particularly when you're an adult. When you're a children, you know, you have to obey them more often. Unless they tell you to kill someone, then, uh, or things like that, but, uh... You get the idea. What it means is, or honor thy father and your mother, as other translations uh, put it in, you know, they are your parents. And so, you don't just, they raise you, they take care of you, and so you don't abandon them. Uh, you have to be there for them in their old age, just like they were there for you in your younger age. Uh, do not commit murder. It's self-explanatory. That means don't kill people for malicious purposes. Uh, Self-defense is fine. National defense is fine. Uh, there's accidental death. As for capital punishment, euthanasia, abortion, those are things uh, that are debated, but I'm not going to get into those. Do not commit adultery. Uh, well, that means, uh, don't cheat on your spouse, or don't, uh, sleep with another person's spouse. Well, you know, how would you like it if, uh, you were the one being cheated on? That's the point, that's the whole point of this one. Do not steal. At face value, that's self-explanatory. Uh, some have said that rule implies right to private property, because to steal, uh, you have to take something that belongs to someone else. Of course, steal doesn't always reply to tangible things, such as money or cars. It could be, uh, time. Like, if you don't put forth your best effort at work, when you slack off when your boss isn't working, uh, you're stealing, because you're not doing as much as he's paying you for. Okay, I'm going to uh, pause right here and make a part two of the video.